All right, in this video, we are going to see a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra rocking Exynos 990 and the all new S22 Ultra rocking a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. Let's open some system applications, third party apps and games, a couple of big PDF files, and let's do a quick video rendering test as well. The purpose here is to see how the two generation old Note 20 Ultra copes up with the S22 Ultra, whether there is any real difference in speed when it comes to day to day life usage on these phones. You be the judge, watch the complete video and let me know whether you see any considerable differences when it comes to speed between these two phones. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. Now let's get rolling. Like that. 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 Like that.
All right, after doing this test, I felt the difference between these two phones in terms of app opening speed is negligible and I'm surprised to see how the Note 20 Ultra performed equally well. However, when it comes to video editing and rendering or any complex tasks, the S22 Ultra is way faster than the Note 20 Ultra. Even the RAM management is pretty good on the S22 Ultra as the games and apps did not refresh in most cases, whereas the Note 20 Ultra had to refresh and restart some of the applications. Overall, if you ask me, in real life normal usage, there is no major differences between these two devices. They handle the apps and tasks pretty well. If you are mainly into video editing and rendering on the phone or any other complex tasks, the S22 Ultra can handle them better. Otherwise, in normal case scenario, Note 20 Ultra, even today, it's pretty good. Let me know what do you think about it. Hoping that you have subscribed to the channel and already smashed that like button. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.